going on everyone? Titus here with Real Breaks. We got something special for you guys tonight. We got Lewis uh, from Team Gary V here joining us. So it should be a fun night. Make sure you guys interact with him in the chat. But uh, my man Amos here. He's going to be asking asking Lewis some questions. And uh, yeah, we're going to be rolling. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got uh, Prism Prism Mixer full for tonight. We got uh, another, another PYT draft full. Uh, we got a lead extra fill in right now, and then I'm gonna throw up a poll after after lead extra fills for what we want to do for that fifth break of the night. So, uh, Lou, do you want to do the honors and pick left or right here for Case? Um, sure. Let's do left. left case. I'm also being right, faced. Huh? Roll that. I was gonna <laughs> say, big <laughs> decision. <laughs> got a call ringing through my headphones here. I didn't know what's going on. Sorry. <laughs> Good. Right. Lou, I told Titus to pick left case in the break the other night, and someone else picked right case, and it yeah, didn't go well for me, so I hope we got some left case mojo here. Let's go. Off the left to go huge. Give me a corner bishop right now. First box. <laughs> That's right, so you got the Giants in this break, Lou? Yeah, so I jumped in there. I you guys fill up in like two seconds, so I had to get in there ASAP. Right on. We got Ryan York saying left too, so we got two. We got confirmation. That's all we got. Confirmation, good. exactly. That's not all on you. We'll get our money mid out and we'll get rolling. Oh, okay. Let's do all it. Right, best of luck to everyone. Andrew Lou. So, Lou, why don't we start out to start the break? Not too many people probably know you. Just, I don't know, besides the introduction, and a lot of people are knowing Gary Vee, especially in the hobby now. People are hearing about Gary Vee, all the stuff he's doing. So what's your uh, what's your relation? What's your role there? Yeah, so um, my my role now is on assistance. Um, there's three of us full-time with him. Um, basically, I just manage the calendar, um, emails, that. Um, and then on the side, I also help him with uh, editing cards, which is his business where we're buying and selling cards, mostly buying right now, but um, buying and selling uh, on eBay and Instagram everywhere. So, right on. Now how's that business. all going? It's going super well. Um, it's been really fun trying to. Try to I think act a little bit differently than people in terms of like buying and selling. like. We have a, a different philosophy a lot of times, my conversation with people. So it's been fun learning from people kind of how they operate because we are coming in from the outside. Um, and I've been learning a ton from, like every day. Like we have an Instagram group where we chat with people all the time. I chat with you guys whenever I can. So um, it's been super fun. Right on. And you guys are at the National, obviously. I know that's how we first got all linked up and you're there with Gary Vee and the whole team. And I know that everything there went really well for you guys, right? Yeah, it was... I was telling people when I got back, it was like the most fun like week of a long time. Like it was a super good time hanging out there with like everybody. And, um, got to meet all the people I've been talking to for like several months. Mm -hmm. So it was super. I also lost my voice, which is crazy. So <laughs> when I got home, like for a couple of days, so I'm really right on. I got a big garbage man here too for Titus. All right, let's get rolling with box number one. Let's do it. We'll skip through that paper base pretty quick. Rutschman Chrome. So we got a gold peeking out there. Ink, gold ink in the first pack. Let me see. Let's go. Gold paper drew waters out of 50. That's cool. And Lou, you're hoping for redemption here, right? 100 Bishop, all his autos are redemptions, I believe, in this product. Is that true? I didn't know that. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. All the ones, all the ones I've seen have been redemptions. Last year, the best auto I got was redemption, too. I hit a, Lou, I hit a gold wave Acuna rookie uh, rookie redemption out of 2018 Topps Chrome a couple weeks ago. <laughs> wow. That's sick. Yeah. Out of a mixer. It was a mixer with a box of it. That's amazing. That's so cool. Purple Refractor Jared Kelnick got a 250. Good to see That's him cool. finally in a Mariners uniform. Yeah, he's like he going to be right eight, eight. Eight. Ooh. 
<laughs> Gold Wave Inc. for the Blue Jays. He's got Blue Jays. Blue Jays are going to Curtis Stowe. Come on. Oh, yeah. Kendall Williams. Ow. Kendall Williams, Gold Wave Auto. So two Gold Waves out of that – or, sorry, two Golds out of that stack already. Gold Paper and a Gold Wave Auto. Hot start. Collier's been amazing in these cases so far. Blue Jays to Curtis Stowe. That'll start us off in a minute. What's your uh, favorite color parallel in Bowman? Uh, I, th I always think the oranges are sick. Obviously, orange is tough to hit. Red's sick too, but, I mean, you rarely see red. But the orange is something that you see kind of in, you know, one per case usually, one or two per case. Right. I think it just looks nasty. How about yeah, the, the black the black they do in draft is, like, yeah, so nice. It's, it's so clean. Sky blue. Super, super clean. Control. So Lou, what's your uh, what's your thought process here? I know you. I saw you Jeez. post on Instagram. Another gold. Another gold. I know you post on Instagram something about the uh, the Tigers as well. So you're thinking are Hunter Bishop and Riley Green your two your two guys out of this product or? Yeah, so Riley Green is my guy out of this one for sure. I think he's going to be a really really good player. My dad. Um, my dad's a big Giants guy. He's a big fan of uh, Hunter Bishop, so I had to do that one for him. Got it. Right on. And we're not going to spoil anything. Uh, well, you said your dad might even be watching in on this break here sometime soon? Might be jumping in. He texted me, so I think he might be here right now. If so, what's up, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. We're, we're uh, Christmas pre Christmas present hunting right now. <laughs> I guess so. We're serious Christmas present hunting right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, why don't you tell everyone about uh, – I know you keep telling us about this sick dynasty league that you're in. Um, yeah. And it sounds awesome. So explain that because I know you guys go deep in prospects. So, I mean, this uh, this product here is, is kind of big for you. Yeah, it's, this is great for me because I get – I have to – it forces me to pay attention to the kids who just got drafted. What is that order right there? Another Kendall Williams. Wow. <laughs> Two to start off. Um, refractor. Yeah. Refractor. Yeah, so Kendall it basically – Kendall Williams out of $4.99. That's super nice. It just pretty much forces me to pay attention to all these kids who just got drafted and start doing research because essentially the way it works, and this is probably not interesting for anyone who doesn't play fantasy baseball, but it's 20 teams auction dynasty um, with minor leaguers. So we have a 40-man roster. We have 20 active roster spots and then 20 bench spots that we can do with anything we want. So if you're someone like me who was not in the mix this year at all because I'm not good, you end up with 17 prospects. So I'm basically just drowning in all these guys. And now I will make it my mission to draft Hunter Bishop uh, <laughs> here in March. So not the best start for you this year? It just Last year was not a good year for me. So we reset our whole rule set last year. And this was the first year we did this set. So it, the draft just didn't go well. Like I had a bad draft, and I knew from the beginning I was finished. So I just decided to pack it in early and just go after prospects. Well, oh, there's, there's definitely a tank for Bishop. Yeah, that's respectable. <laughs> Third auto is TJ Sikama. Sikama is going to the Yankees and Andy David. Nice. And how many guys are in this league? You said what, twenty something? So yeah, it's twenty teams. Um, I'm sorry, it's 16 teams. We we're gonna we're trying to go up to 20. It's 16 teams right now. Got it. Um, a little expansion yeah. draft. Like find some committed owners who are ready to get really deep into baseball with us that can join for sure. Without a doubt. Is Gary in this league and a bunch of other guys that are on the team? Yeah. Yeah. So basically this league is this league's been in existence for I wanna say like twenty years at this point. My dad was in it for a really long time. So I've been going to this draft pretty much every year since I've been a young kid. Um, and I finally got my own team like five or six years ago. Um, so it's my dad is in it. Uh, Gary's in it. AJ, uh, Gary's brother's in it. A lot of their friends from um, Wine Library, the old wine store that Gary mm -hmm. worked at. Um, and then there's also been an injection of VaynerMedia employees, um, like four people from VaynerMedia, and then some of AJ's friends as well from growing up. So right it's a pretty, a pretty good group, and we spend like a whole weekend together every year. Awesome. Well, this might be a yeah. good time if anyone's trying to get into a uh, a fantasy baseball league with Lou and Gary Vaynerchuk. I mean, through the pitch, we got a we got a connection here right now. So yeah, we need a sales pitch from you guys. <laughs> There's a serious vetting process if you want to get in this league. <laughs> Charity auction office, but yeah, exactly. I really qualified. 
honestly. It's insane the level of knowledge you have. Yeah. Well, I mean, like you said, well, like with this product, I mean, you got to know who you're looking at, and there's always those sleepers. You know, you can't just go, you know, Rutschman and all the other top picks. I mean, there's a little bit more strategy than just taking the top 10 guys in every draft. 100%. Yeah, like last year I made a trade um, with AJ. I was just looking to get more picks, and I was a pretty low key guy. He was like ranked in like the mid months, I want to say. Anything crazy, like a 15 year old kid um, from the public. And I was like, I must take him. He was like, awesome. And now there's, it's cool. He's like, I want to say he's like in the, in the 40s now. So it's like, Jeez. it's crazy how guys can just go from nobody's to like super important prospects. Without a doubt. When I'm prospects, just nobody's to, you know, big names in the MLB. Yeah. And you look at Aquino this year who. Literally didn't have any attention the at all. The bottles are like $5. Yeah, just nothing. He was, he was in 2014, Bowman, right? Yeah, yeah, I believe so, yep. Wow. Yeah, I remember going on all the Facebook pages and everyone's saying, yeah. dig into your, you know, I just dug into my old old boxes of 2014, you know, Bowman and found two a queen all out. I was like, there's 300 bucks right there. Yeah, that's... I can't imagine how many people were just like, oh, like, I wonder. And then they had like four or five because they were just like opening yeah. them and putting them in a box somewhere. Well, that's what you see like at the National. People have cards in their dollar box that have yeah. been in there for a while. And then all of a sudden are $10 cards. And then, if you know what you're looking for, I, you make some money. I think that happened at the National. Like that, the Aquino thing was happening during the National. So I remember, I think I remember hearing about somebody digging through $1 boxes and finding a bunch of his cards. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Sean, what uh, what Gary Viados do you have? Was it from? That's got to be from the Direct Three Sixty set, obviously, right? Did you just have straight Gary Viados? I know we did our. Uh, I don't know if anyone remembers. I know Lou, we told you about this. We did how many boxes do we have, Titus? I think it's fifty. Yeah, fifty of the collector's edition Gary V Direct Three Sixty boxes that. Yeah. Ryan and I broke live probably a few months ago now, and uh, yeah. we ended up pulling that uh, that huge redemption to uh, yeah to go hang in the suite. Where's Ryan? We should get him to come do Yankees game. Yeah, exactly. We got that huge redemption to go to the suite, spend a day at a suite with uh, Gary, and I'm assuming the team. I don't know. It might just be Gary there at uh, at a Yankees game. Yeah. So I think what's end up happening with that is it'll be Gary. Um, and then there's a there's some other like that's a redemption for it's a group of people I can't remember the exact number right now but it's basically gonna be Gary um, maybe if he'll let me come I'll also come hang out in the suite and then a bunch of other a bunch of people who won the redemption so it'll be a good time right on yeah I know we we're super pumped when we hit that I'm sure if anyone wants to go back on our page a few a few uh, you know a few months you can find it Will Wilson autographed going to the Angels and Lance Young that's a good prospect there. Nice. That first box was all pitchers, so it's good to hit a shortstop to start off box two. I can't believe we got back to back of the same guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we've been doubling up on some of the big names though. But you want to double up on the position players, not the mm-hmm. pitchers. For sure. I like that guy. And Twins need to find a way to get Royce Lewis up. Royce Lewis Ooh, is that factor out of one fifty. There might be something behind there for me. Something interesting potentially. Yeah, Tyler Fitzgerald, chrome base card. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want me to sleeve it up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, there you go. Back to back. Back to back base cards for Louis Janot. Big hits. <laughs> Big hits. <laughs> hits for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sean, Gary was signing a bunch at the National. Um, I know Titus yeah, and I had him so. sign. We bought a bunch of, you know, just the regular base sets of the of his 360 collection. He, I got a video of him just signing, you know, yeah. however many we had. People were getting him to sign cards and everything. And Lou, you guys were even, you guys had like Allen and Ginter base cards that he was signing, yeah. like all the 360 cards that he was signing, like just going crazy. Yeah, it was super fun. He was like, he was having a blast, just like signing all the autos. And people have been mailing cards to the office and. He's been signing those, and I'm mailing them back to people as well. So if anyone has any that they would potentially want to get signed, like feel free to send them to the office. That'd be awesome. DMs. I haven't, I haven't talked about uh, having Gary sign for like Alan Hunter. Yeah, yeah. What was the uh, what was the process? I know you told Titus and I a little bit about it. Um, yeah. 
because Gary had base autos in Allen and Ginter, and then he had his own set, obviously, too, which I know he signed a bunch for. So, like, how did you guys tackle that whole process? It was pretty awesome. The Topps team is, like, super great to work with. Um, they kind of came to us with the idea, and, you know, this was already while we were working on the Series 2 uh, concept as well. So, um, Ginter felt like a good fit, too. So, they came to us. You know, we worked with them on the uh, the photo for the card, and then as far as getting things signed, is you know, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen, but it's basically just like a huge stack of cards um, that you uh, you just sign them all. So we actually were watching the NFL draft when we got them all signed, and there's like a couple funny pictures of like a huge conference table in our office just filled with his cards. Um, it's cool. It was it was good times. That had to have been a long night signing everything. It was. Fun. That's awesome. What the uh, yeah, I forgot about series because it was series two he had the the dual autos in, right? Series two was the dual autos, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And some of those went for crazy money. Yeah, we also got a couple ourselves just because we wanted to have them. So Oh yeah, why wouldn't um, you? Yeah, we pulled we pulled one, um, and then someone actually gave one to us at the national as well, which is cool. Um yeah. Nice. And all those were numbered, weren't they? Yeah, so there was a varied number. I can't remember the numbers off the top of my head, but um, there was. The, the, I know the Jeter was of five, um, and I believe Randy Johnson was of five as well. Okay. Um, and then yeah, a couple of the others were of twenty five, but yeah, they're all numbered. Right on. Yeah, I think the Trevor May was of five. The tra- yeah, the one we hit was of five. Melendez. Oh, we got a blue auto coming up here. It oh looks boy. like it's a hitter. Braves had some big ones. The little Braves. People were asking about the picker team pricing changes. So basically what we do is, you know, obviously when it first releases, we're kind of using our own knowledge and looking at the auto checklist to set the team prices. But yeah. once stuff starts selling on eBay, we're one of the only people that does this. And we think that makes it's a real strong point for us that we're using the eBay sold listings to help us reprice the teams. So the Braves are one of the teams that went up a lot in price, but it's not because they're the first team selling or anything. It's because their autos are selling so much better than what we had first anticipated when we priced teams out. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, Shea Langliers. Nice, that's a good Beautiful. one. That's super Shea nice. Langliers blue out of 150. Super. Braves are going to Matt Wood. That's going to Matt replace Wood. gold. That's- It was funny. I thought it was a Vlad auto. I'm look. I'm reading Sean's comment. I thought it was a Vlad auto. I saw it wasn't. I didn't know it's the auto max. Yeah, that was. Yeah, we got a lot of cool autos in that. Sean, I hope you didn't get ripped off. <laughs> I hope the guy wasn't trying to sell it as a Vlad auto and ended up being a Gary yeah. auto. That's a good one. Sky blue Keone Cavaco. Looking for some autos of him. Twins farm system is starting to be just absolutely loaded, especially at shortstop too, because they just locked up Polanco and they have Royce Lewis and Cavaco. Cavaco was out of high school, but so he's super young, but just drafted another stud shortstop. Royce Lewis is a really good player. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm excited for him to come up. I know we always talk, and obviously being Minnesota, we're Twins fans here. I'm not. I'm a half Twins fan because I'm mostly an Indians fan. But uh, <laughs> the the talk is always, you know, when are the Twins gonna bring all these guys up? Yeah. Well, I I guess like last year. One a year. Were they supposed to be like contenders last year? Because they ended up being a really good team. They won like a hundred games, right? Well, yeah, they won the AL Central, just barely beat out the Indians, and then got smoked in the playoffs by the Yankees. Yeah, I think like I they ended up just being in contention, so I guess it's hard to bring up young guys when you're in the middle of like a pennant race, you know? Exactly. Yeah, that's part of it, but I think still, I mean, something's got to change. I think we were we were kind of a mediocre team that was covered up by a lot of home runs. They hit a ton of home runs last year. Yeah. Finally got Grouter all up at the end of the year. Yeah. It's all the juice baseballs. Well, it was funny because, yeah, like they had, you know, like the juice balls apparently. And then in the playoffs, I guess they then like readjusted them to make them not juiced. And people said that was like the whole reason the Twins couldn't hit. I think they're just overpowered by the Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> so Noah struck out like 20 times in the playoffs. 
All right, so we got a, we got a fun surprise for everyone here. A little unannounced giveaway. So from from the from the sets that we busted, we're gonna, oh. do, some, we're gonna do some skunk protection, and it's a big one. That's a Joe Adele. That's a big auto. Yep. So we got a Joe Adele direct 360 auto here. But I think one of my, one of my favorite parts about the set that they did was you know reading all the all the different stuff on the backs of the cards and. Uh, like how Gary chose all the all the different entrepreneurs to be in the set and that type of stuff for for the different products. It's really cool to see like the the wine pairings and stuff. And there's obviously a lot of thought that went into, you know, not just not just the base set in general, but you know, to each individual insert set. It was really cool. Yeah, we had a lot of fun making it. It was it was good times. That's sweet. So everyone, so Lou with our skunk protection, everyone that doesn't hit an auto or color card out of what 25 or less so everyone that doesn't hit an auto or card number 25 or less is going to be inserted into a random drawing to win that joel bell gary 360 auto that's wait so i might win this potentially lou you have a shot at winning the joel bell that'd be amazing i love joel <laughs> so excited to get that so sometimes we add just crazy skunk protection to the brakes and what it does is it rewards people, not just the people that hit big teams in case they don't get anything, but the, the people that help fill some of the smaller teams. So now, you know, the $10 Astros, Astros suck. So yeah. who would buy the Astros? Cheaters. <laughs> Settle down. Settle down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, you know, in this product, Astros are 10 bucks. So now that yeah. $10 spot has a good shot at, at, you know, hitting the skunk protection. So we'll give away crazy stuff like, you know, Tatis autographed baseballs and – and uh, we, get, we have these mystery jersey boxes that we've been doing. And one of the ones that I opened for skunk protection a couple weeks ago was a Mike Trout. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, yeah. Autograph jersey. Yeah. That's, that's so cool. Yeah, so it makes it fun. So someone that was mad they didn't get a, that yeah. they didn't get a hit ended up with a Mike Trout autograph jersey. It was <laughs> funny. The, the guy that actually won it skunked with the Angels. <laughs> no way. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. So, Lou, you're going to be a, kind of a halfway Twins fan, too, here now soon that you're going to be up in Minnesota a bunch? <laughs> Definitely not going to be a Twins fan. But try to work for the Rocker in the Call of Duty League. Yeah, so tell everyone about that because I'm sure not too many people, I mean, people that know Gary Vee kind of know, you know, what he's doing, like, motivational speaking-wise, all that stuff. But I don't think too many people know exactly what you guys have going on, you know, business and, and other venture wise. So you guys are Gary V is part owner of a Call of Duty esports team now, correct? Yeah. So the Call of Duty League is like one of the biggest esports teams in the world. They're pretty much I think they're the closest thing. The Call of Duty League is kind of the closest thing to like you know quote unquote regular sports uh, that we have because they have like the franchise model where all these different cities um, have their own teams. Like New York has a team uh, Minnesota has a team, LA has a team, Chicago, etc. Um, so Gary is a part owner in the Minnesota team, the Minnesota Rocker. Um, and the league launches uh, at the end of January. So Gary will be out there, hopefully me as well, uh, checking it out. Like the whole league is going to pretty much descend on Minnesota and like they're going to be game. They're going to have their tournaments there and everything like that. It's going to be a super fun time. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. You're not going to be playing in it at all? I'm not good enough for those guys, but I've been trying to get pretty good. <laughs> Call of Duty was like my first. Did you guys ever play video games when you were kids? A little bit. You played like Call of Duty and all that stuff? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, Call of Duty was my game when I was growing up for sure. So I'm like extra happy because I can. it gives me an excuse to get back into it, you know? Yeah, without a doubt. And how sick Modern Warfare is, the game, the new, newest Call of Duty game, for those that don't know, it just came out. Modern Warfare is super. Are you, you're playing Modern Warfare? Yeah, without a doubt. We have to start playing together because <laughs> I've been grinding that game hard. <laughs> we'll link up. I know Titus and I are big Rocket League guys, yeah, we but we can definitely uh, we'll split some time. Hell yeah! I I tried to play Rocket League and it was like so confusing, and I I couldn't get like a figure for the movement, you know, and I just gave up. <laughs> Takes a true athlete to be able to play Rocket League. Rocket League. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a sick card. So cool story on Matt Wallner. Titus and I actually played against him in high school. He graduated in 2016, and Titus and I were 2015 grads. And our senior year, we played. We beat Forest Lake in sections, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. So we beat. So he played for Forest Lake High School in Minnesota, and uh, we beat him in sections on uh, on route to our uh, our state tournament bid. 
That's wild. Yeah, so it's awesome to see a guy that we beat in the section tournament. Yeah, he could get his in car. high school. Yeah, exactly. Now he's he's doing a little bit better than Titus and I. Yeah. Obviously, he's playing yeah. for the Twins now, but I, I blew my arm out. Yeah, I. Otherwise, I'd be on the car. Yeah, you'd be right there. Yeah, if it wasn't you? for my sprained pinky toe on my left foot back in junior year, I'd definitely be there. <laughs> Yeah, Sean, this is, uh, I think uh, eSports and video games as a whole have come a little way since yeah. <laughs> since the old NES. And... Oh, what what was the hockey game that Gary was challenging people to? Um, It's like, it's called like NES Hockey, you know, and it's like USA versus Russia. We have, so we have a Twitch studio in our office um, and we hooked up an NES to it. And every once in a while, he'll just like hop on NES and play hockey. Um, it's very funny to watch. Second sick of my auto going to Andy David and the Yankees. This one's a refractor. Nice. A lot of pitchers. Yeah, I mean, the checklist is like 75% hitters. So that's why the product has been so good so far. But hopefully we can get off the, the pitchers here. So what else does, uh, what else does Gary and what do you guys have in store in terms of in terms of cards, are you just guys kind of doing your own thing now? And yeah, we're having fun. It's like it's a lot of buying right now. Basketball um, is obviously super on everyone's mind. So You're all in on the prism hype. Heavy prism recently. I actually haven't gotten any of this year's prism myself. It's like so expensive. That's so it's like problem. hard for it's hard to rationalize a box, you know. But um, yeah, like we, I've been trying to buy some old Prism, and I'm I keep I go to buy the Target near my house every once in a while and try to find some boxes if I can. But um, yeah, it's fun to watch the pulls though. There's been a lot of really cool pulls. Yeah, without a doubt. Have you guys pulled anything cool out of there yet, or no? Uh, we haven't we haven't opened any on the page yet. Uh, but so tonight's gonna be the first time first time we first... open it. That's awesome. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We, so we got another Bowman draft coming up right after this, and then we'll do. Uh, We'll do that prism mixer. Sick. Yeah, so what's, what do we got in the prism mixer? It's what, two prism mega boxes. Oh. It's stuck, it stuck to that blue paper. No Shay way. Langlers, number two. We're doubling up on everybody so far. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Get Hunter Bishop right now. <laughs> well, I think we're going to be happy with that one. That's a Green really good Shay one. Shay Langlers out of 99 for the Braves. Nice. Yeah, so with that prism break, we got what? So it's two mega boxes. No, it's it's two hobby, two retail twenty four count boxes, um, five target mega boxes, which are the the red ice ones, um, five blasters, and then it's one box of certified and one box of absolute. Nice. So there's gonna be some good stuff in there. Yeah, there should be a lot of silvers, a lot of different parallels, because like the mega boxes have their own parallels and like. You know, each of the ones have different parallels to chase. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's sick. Good way to t take a uh, cheap shot at Zion hunting. For sure. A lot of refractors in these. Yeah, it's nice that they do that for, I mean, obviously the, the paper doesn't have a whole lot of value, but when you get the all the chrome and uh, the refractors of the first Bowmans, there's yeah. a lot of good stuff to hold on to. And like I know, I'm, I know I mentioned to you, Lou, that uh, like a lot of this stuff you want to stash and just hold on to, like the the cheap stuff you want to stash and hold on to because you never know who's gonna end up being the next big name. Hundred percent. So when you're pulling out these refractors a couple of years from now. Yeah, even some of the autos, it's it's weird. Like people are breaking the boxes right, and they're selling some of the autos of like the lesser known guys for cheap. It's like why wouldn't you just hang on to it and just see what happens? You know? Yeah, exactly for the cheap ones. Probably not worth the, I mean, what, you get two bucks, five bucks off an auto? Yeah, I might as well save them. Just hang on to it. Especially with this, I mean, especially this product with all the hit, like how stacked it is on hitters, like. Well, all the guys are 19. Yeah, all, all the young guys, like, there's for sure going to be guys other than Adley, other than, yeah. you know, Hunter Bishop that are, that are popping. A hundred percent. Like, this guy from the Braves, like, he can end up being, like, a superstar. Yeah, you know what I mean? exactly. <laughs> Yeah, last year, me and my dad, uh, we opened a box, and I got a dual Nick Madrigal, um, Jonathan India auto that I've been holding on to for the last year. So you had a, last year, you had a dual uh, Nick Madrigal and Jonathan India auto. That's, India auto. Yeah. 
That's a huge card. Yeah, I was super fired up. It's weird though. Like Duel, uh, you guys know better than me, right? Like the Duel is yeah. indestructible for less than the bait, like the single auto. So I'm just holding on to it. Yeah, right on. That's still. I mean, I, don't know, I think dual autos are sick. Like how many auto? How many autos you can put on a card? <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> the Deca booklets out of uh, triple threads. Yeah, the triple threads booklet. <laughs> what did you hit? You hit that relic, and now there's some auto patches pulled. Yeah, in triple threads, I hit a I hit a Deca booklet of all the big rookies this year, but it was just pat. It's just patches. It wasn't autos. But yeah, I literally had everybody. <laughs> I think so, I saw it was uh, Ryan Card Collector Two pulled like a wild yeah booklet. Some of the, yeah, some of those triple thread booklets are so nasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was funny. So then we had to do a we for when we hit like dual autos like that where it's multiple teams, we do a random for everybody that has those spots. So it was a ten spot random for that for that I, booklet. <laughs> it's crazy. So uh, if I was, like, one of those ten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the only team that had two was the Padres. They had Tatis and Paddock on it. So that guy had two spots. Yeah. That's the question for Sean. So if, if you add the auto to 150, are you selling it in our waiting? I was thinking I about that. The add the autos are so hot right now. It's almost hard to, like... It's hard to, I mean, I keep saying, I've been saying this for like the last several months with everybody, but like, mm -hmm. it's hard to imagine it would get much, like they're so expensive right now, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, I'm in the same boat. Was, I mean, so our biggest picker team pricing increase was the Orioles. They went up from 245 to 325. But like I said, the, like the reason that that happened was because his base autos on eBay are selling for that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> It's because he's so good. Like, everything yeah. I've read about him is that he's pretty much ready to be in the major leagues, like, mm -hmm. right now. Yep. And college college hitters are typically, you know, more ready to right. to make that big leap. Whereas the high school guys just take so long to develop. Yeah, and I, from what I understand, again, I can only watch a little bit. I watch college hitters, that's pretty much it. But, like, apparently his defense is also really, really good. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's one of those guys that you're not going to see him. They're, they're not going to move him from catcher just because he's so good. Mm -hmm. Right. Whereas typically, like, I don't know if people realize this. Bryce Harper was, you know, was a, had been a catcher all the way up until he got drafted. Obviously, his he was a little bit different scenario because he, you know, went to community college and graduated high school a year early. But, yeah, they moved him to outfield right away and never looked back because he's such a good hitter. Yeah. Do you remember when Bryce was coming out and they had those videos on YouTube of him, like, with the metal bat at the uh, Tampa Stadium hitting just, like, yeah. absolute shots? <laughs> at the scoreboard and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Wow, videos. He was, like, on the cover of Sports Illustrated when he was at that community college or whatever. Yeah. He was a wild prospect when he was coming out. I actually got to see him at the Arizona Fall League right after he got drafted. That was, like, the first place that he got to play. Right. So I was there for like his minor league debut, I guess, at the Fall League. And so he was still, you know, 18, 19 or whatever. And I've just never heard like the sound. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Blue Wave, Michael Bush. Nice one. Going to the Dodgers. Dodgers are owned by Kevin McGee. But yeah, I've, just, I've never heard the sound of a ball coming off somebody's bat like, like Bryce Harper's, you know, when I was there. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah. Well, so they let Adley call his own game that doesn't happen. Yeah, he apparently his defense is like out of control, like so so good. Sean, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm really cautious of the whole value has to have peaked quote because I look at like you know I don't mean to bring it back to basketball like Giannis PSA tens from last year and how they just kept going up, especially during the playoffs. Like you think like yeah, obviously it's super super hot right now, still a new product. Um, you know, everyone's trying to buy up as much as they can, but what happens if he gets pulled up, you know, right away or, you know, goes, goes straight to the bigs and then starts absolutely lighting it up. Yeah. The market right now is so wild. I mean, you guys, I'm sure you guys are adjusting your prices in real time. So you're seeing it yep. super closely. Like, it's wild. What's going on right now? Yeah. So you see, I mean, yeah, it, the prices are super high right now, but there's no reason that they can't, you know, shoot up even higher yeah for sure you know like wander franco autos his autos were unbelievably hot right out of the gate and you know they're still holding steady i haven't taken a look in a while but i'm sure like once he gets called up they're gonna shoot even higher 
like lost in base auto for the D-backs. Yeah, his uh, Wander bases right now, PSA 10s, are a little bit on the low side. I've been keeping an eye on those and might want to, I might grab a couple before the yeah. season starts. Is that the Lou, is that the Lou investment tip of the break? No, no, no. That's not an investment <laughs> They're going to drive the prices up on me, and then I'll be finished. But <laughs> don't buy them. I might be thinking about doing that. All right, all right. I'd like to Gary. invite everyone again. If you guys do have any questions for Lou regarding Gary, regarding who he's collecting right now, you know, anything like that, uh, definitely feel free to ask. He can see all your comments in live time. So. Feel free to ask him about the Astros cheating scandal. Cheating scandal. <laughs> <laughs> Curveball. Yeah. <laughs> some of the, some of like the memes and stuff like that have been so funny. Yeah. Call like call the videos, like there's been a bunch of TikTok videos, like kids like on a baseball field like banging on garbage. <laughs> so good. Are you all in on TikTok? I love watching TikTok videos. It's pretty much like what I do in my free time. Like <laughs> if I'm. <laughs> If I'm on my way home and I'm not like reading emails or like, going through texts or anything like that, I'm probably just like mindlessly scrolling through TikTok videos. <laughs> Sean is on there, you know. <laughs> Sean as a as a Browns fan, I'm not supposed to like Lamar Jackson, but I absolutely love him. Yeah, Lamar's the best. Dude. I don't know how you don't love that guy. Did you I see like the he had like a triple juke on somebody today? Absolutely yeah, stole his ankles. He like knocked somebody off their feet. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I, think, I think Ryan should have gone with this beard and the hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like uh, Mo is from the office. <laughs> oh, so there's one for you, Lou. Uh, Bullet asked, "What soccer is Gary focusing on? What soccer is Tyler focusing on?" No, that's not true. Gary's in the mix. Me, me and Tyler are pretty hot, pretty heavy on it ourselves, but Gary is too. You know, like oh, there we go. Oh, screen paper. I'm into that. Sign me up. That's huge. Um, yeah. So soccer, soccer is weird, right? Where the cards are kind of a little bit. It's hard to tell what's going to be the the card. You know, like Bowman is like obviously the card for minor leaguers and baseball in general, and then like. Prism's the big one for basketball. It's hard to know like what's gonna end up being that for soccer. Um, but we've been messing around with like the the newer stuff, the tops chrome and the and the prisms also are super nice as well. Um, and then it's you know the classic guys. Who uh, I know you guys at the national were big on Pulisic, obviously. Joe Felix. Yeah, yeah Joe Felix yeah, Joe, too. Joe Felix is a big one for sure. Um, San, uh, Sancho from. He's plays for England. I forget what club he's on now. I want to say it's – can't remember who it is, but him as well. So Tyler's like my brain trust for all those things. <laughs> Bullet, are you grabbing any soccer? Are you starting to, to get into it a little bit or watch it at all? I know I went uh, – I was out in Italy last spring. Um, I was in Rome for a week, and I went out to an AS Roma game – or AS Roma match, and it was – Absolutely, like I was all in on European soccer after that. It's so much fun. It was absolutely the craziest sporting event I've ever been to. Wasn't it De Rossi's to... last game? Yeah. Wow. That's yeah, so, so it, was, it was Danielle De Rossi's uh, last match, and like people were in tears, like crying. Like he, they did like a big send off. Like he walked around the whole uh, the pitch, and you know, just people are throwing like scarves at him for to wear, and like people like. He's so he's an Italian nationalist, obviously, and you know he's been a, just a legend in Rome and all of Italy. And people are in tears, just crying for him because they knew it was his last, you know, his last match with AS Roma. Yeah, I'm trying to. Tyler told me he went out to see Manchester United, and he said it was like the most ridiculous thing he's ever been a part of. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. I need to get out. Like if I next time, if if I ever get to London, like I'm gonna. I'm gonna to try to go to a game. Yeah, without a doubt. I think it's one of those things that you have to do. I mean, even if you're not a soccer fan, just the atmosphere. Yeah. yeah it just seems like a fun time. It's insane. Yeah, and just how passionate those people are. Like so like I keep referring back to this AS Roma game. Um they had it was the craziest thing. So they were playing Parma, and Parma's in northern Italy. Rome is a little bit more south. And uh they had an entire section like roped off. We got there earlier, obviously, and we just had this empty section just roped off and we go, all right, like what's going on here? And we were sitting like in the section to the right of it. 
and then Parma fans started filling in there, and like you couldn't even check in. Like there are cops all the way around it. Like you could not go into the section, and so the, it fills up with Parma fans. And I go, okay, so they got like their own section just for their fans. Right. And after every goal, everything, like anything that happened during this match, like the entire row of fan base was like turn around like in the front lower levels like turn completely around look up and start swearing and you know <laughs> just just going at everyone like it was hardcore and it, like they had those those cops there so like riots and fights don't break out like that's how passionate they are yeah, there's been some crazy videos that have come out for the most part i would imagine it's a good time. yeah exactly Come on, man! Give me a big auto here. Yeah, we need to we need to get going. Showcase is a little weak so far. But we're at, we're at the halfway point though. We still got four boxes left. Happy. Girls, the sky blue. Nice. Yeah, bullet. That's awesome. I think uh, I think in America, soccer is still an underrated sport, without a I, doubt. I mean, not especially yeah. comparing it to. Everyone, you know, everyone else in the world, basically. Purple baby. I never really cared about soccer much, and I played a bit in high school just for fun. And it was like once I started playing, it was, you know, it's a sweet sport. So. That's to Ryan York. Nice baby purple. Baby's a good player. I'm excited to see him. I'm gonna keep an eye on him for sure. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a little preview right there. Yeah. Let's see who snuck a peek at it. It's like a peek real quick. There's another double up. It is another double up? Yep. There's one already on the stand. Michael Bush. Oh. Michael Bush, Dodgers auto. Dodgers once again going to Kevin McGee. Kevin is doing super well right now. The first box I opened, I pulled a dual auto of uh, him and Cody House. It was my first hit. It was a redemption. <laughs> it's crazy. First, first hit of Bowman draft. That's awesome. Slide that behind him. I think, hold on. I think I found an, I have a different auto from last year. I'm going to go find it. Hang on. All right. <laughs> There's a lot of double ups on this case. It's wild. Brandon Shoemaker Green. That's a nice card. That's a 99 out of 99. You know nice. what that is. eBay 101, baby. <laughs> Shane is in the house. What's up, Shane? Yeah, so last year I got an Anthony Siegler purple auto, which I was extremely oh, excited yeah. about. But apparently this guy has like not worked out yet, so I'm really I really need him to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> should have sold. I yeah, should have yeah, you're right, I should have sold it right away. Lou, I'm with you on the waiting game. I'm waiting for all my Cedric Mullins autos to pop. <laughs> uh, I think everybody in the chat is. <laughs> Anybody that buys into random mixers. It's pulling it's at least five Cedric Mullins. <laughs> Cedric Mullins getting hot could crash the market. <laughs> and like the most single handedly, like. <laughs> Purple India. Nice. He was one of the big chases last year. You said you pulled a duel of him, right? Yeah, him and uh, Magical. See that color peeking out there? I see it. Give me a giant. The Giants with the orange would look yeah, sick. The color sick. match. Give yeah, it to me. Uh, let's see if it's got ink. Oh, it is. It's Padres, though. Abrams. I want an orange Abrams. How sick would that be? Come let's on. Let's see. Padres are going to Ryan York. Come on, Abrams. Ryan? Let's go. Oh, let's go. Orange Abrams. That's Number like three cool. of 25. That's sick. That's nasty. Uh, now we're talking. I told you, orange are my favorites. Oranges are nice. That's were... such a sick card. That's a good one. Straight, straight to Beckett. Yeah. BGS sub coming up. That's numbered three of twenty-five. What do you think, I, Mitt? I think it's gotta be. I think that's Without a, a doubt. Night. That's gonna be our first gong hit of the night. <laughs> gong it up. That's a easy push here. Four figures. Yes. All right. So, Lou, we do a thing here. We got a gong. You can't see it on the screen, but we got this little mini gong here. Right. So, thanks to Abrams, we're going to be doing our first gong hit of the night. 
That's insane. I love that. On, uh, <laughs> on Thursday, I had a couple of double gong cases, and I even had a triple gong case. <laughs> triple gong. Oh, man. <laughs> Who pulled that, Ryan? Ryan, you might have to uh, you might have to thank Lou here. He might be good luck yeah. on this break. He picked the case. That's a big one. That's right. Yeah, Lou did pick the yeah. case too. Look at that. Sneaky. Here's a here's a crazy story from Thursday. So that case where we hit three Adleys, Ryan Reed picked the case and he had the Orioles. So he picks the case and it has three Adleys in it. <laughs> That's insane. That was a good way to start off the second half of the break. Love that. So Lou, what else are you uh what else are you investing in or what products are you looking forward to for the rest of the year and even in the twenty twenty? The rest of this year I mean, my thing is always baseball. Baseball is the thing I know the most, so I'm always looking forward to the Bowman's and the tops releases. Mm -hmm. Um Bowman draft is like my favorite thing that comes out every year. Um, so this is like a good good couple weeks for me because I'm just like <laughs> taking in all of the cards that I can like look at with my eyes and try to watch them. Um, but yeah, I think for me it's probably – I'll try to sneak some Prism in um, when I can. Maybe I'll get myself a box for Christmas or something. But like mm -hmm. um, yeah, pretty much a baseball guy through right. and through. Because you got to be – Logan Davidson A is going to Matt Smith. It's a refractor out of four ninety nine. A nice auto too. You've got to be super pumped for Series One coming next uh, next year, right? Next February, I think it is. Jordan. A little Jordan rookie card action. There, I'm getting as many of those as I can. <laughs> I, obviously, as an Astros fan, I wouldn't expect anything less. Should yeah. be able to, should be able to find that one at Target. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Did I tell you guys that I got a Bregman uh, first auto PSA ten? No, when did you end up with that? So fired up! I got it at. I actually bought it at the national on eBay because I was looking at the show and I couldn't find like they were all too expensive at the show. So I checked on eBay and I grabbed yep. one. I was so excited. Nice. You got the uh, at the national. You bought a Bregman PSA ten auto first Bowman. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. That's my guy. Those Vlad's. Huh? Vlad no numbers. Yeah, Titus and I were kicking ourselves because uh, out of the series two. Uh, Vlad had that no number short print. We talked about right. it too. Yeah, we talked about it because we bought into uh, a couple breaks um, just going Blue Jays, just searching for that short print. And I think they were like 20 or th well, they were probably like 30 or 40 bucks at the time. At the, right when it first came out. Yeah. yeah, right when it first came out, those Vlad no number short prints were at like 30, 40 bucks. And then he sucked. And then, yeah, he, he didn't do too well. And then the, I think people were just scared because there are so many of them being pulled. Yeah. Because, um, like, in terms of short print, it wasn't super, Compared super short Compared to the Acuna bat down from the year before. Yeah, exactly. There wasn't a ton. Oh, yeah, I got like crazy. And then all the way, then going to the National, I think they dropped all They're the way like down eight to, like, bucks. yeah, like, eight, ten bucks a pop. And we talked about buying them. That's great. Yeah, I, I, in series, I can't remember what it was. Oh, no, it was Bowman Baseball last year. There was a short print Bryce. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, and, we, and it was like 25 bucks on eBay when it came out. I and mean, my dad got our, one of our boxes and we like, so I think, at, so at the National, we bought like 30 blasters of, of uh, 2018, 2019 Prism basketball. Right. And we ripped them all. We got them for like 15 bucks. It was literally the dad, like we were, everyone's packing up to leave. Yeah. And we walked past this booth and this guy had like 30 of them. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. So we bought them for like 15 bucks a piece, ripped all of them. <laughs> not a single Luca, not a single tray. And now just the blasters are like 45, 50 bucks. <laughs> so you hate to see that. Yeah. You hate to see that. Yeah, that's one of the things. I wish I would have thought about that because the, like those box, those boxes are going to be super expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to go up in price now, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I would have bought a couple of them. So. As people keep opening them, they're not. There's not any more available. Yeah, it's only dwindling. My problem is whenever I buy, I feel like just because I touch it, it turns into poison and it just drops. <laughs> what I buy? I bought like eight Baker Mayfield PSA ten <laughs> before the season. Well, he plays for the Browns, so that was your own fault. <laughs> yeah. 
I was all in on Baker. All in. I was like, perfect. He's going to go off. OBJ, Landry, like, this is going to be a sweet deal. Then the value tanked on him. <laughs> yeah. Are they still in the playoffs next at all? Or? Oh, yeah. Wild card, baby. Yeah? That's yeah, awesome. the Ravens will for sure lock that division up. But with uh, today's win over the Bengals, we got, I think we're a game below 500. The Jets had a big win today. Man, I'm so upset. Like, I was trying – like, I wanted to beat the Bengals so bad because I was just trying to get – like, Thursday to play the Ravens in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. And I was – I was hoping that we were still going to be like we had a very slim chance for the playoffs, obviously. But I was hoping that we could still be like in the mix, so I could like go to that game and get excited. And now it's like irrelevant. You might as well root for the Ravens at that point. I mean, you know, like, I'd rather the loss, honestly. Yeah, I'd rather see Lamar Jackson just show out. <laughs> I definitely don't want him to show out on the Jets, but a loss would be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Jets have been super hurt all year too. It's like. Another double up. This is wild. How about a double up on Abrams? That'd be nice. Double up 25s of Abrams? Yeah. Imagine. That'd be nice. Somebody at Tops would be in trouble then. Yeah. <laughs> A's again to Matt Smith. So again, for everyone that uh, joined a little bit late, we've got obviously on the, the showcase here, uh, we got a card that is not part of Bowman draft at all. We got a Joe Adele auto out of Gary Vaynerchuk's direct 360 set um, that they hand collated and made and everything. And along with us is Lou from Gary V's team, Gary V's right hand man. Am I allowed to say that? Um, there's there's a there's a it's few of us. But we all work together. <laughs> One fourth of Gary V's right hand <laughs> personnel. Yeah. On the left. Pointer yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to stay alive out here, you know? But we got Louie in here on the break, and... Well, Ryan doesn't know what he hit. <laughs> Ryan, it was a decent card. Yeah, Let's... Ryan, you're doing okay. <laughs> Let's just yeah. say you're not in the skunk protection at this point. <laughs> but as skunk protection, if you don't hit an auto or a card number to 25 or less, you'll be entered in a raffle, which Lou himself is currently in the, in the raffle for. The Joe Adele Direct 360 Auto. Who wants to tell Ryan what he hit? Sean Starr. Right. Jealous, Ryan. Corbin Carroll, Blue Refractor. That's a nice card. It's a super nice card. Is the D-backs chasing this one? It's more big autos, though. Oh. He's spec... Or... Are they speckle or sparkle? I think Ryan said they're sparkle autos. They kind of they change up the names in them. Yeah, um, sometimes it's speckles. You're right. Sometimes it's yeah, speckles. Yeah. Are. Either way, I think they're sick. But they're numbered out of 71. Days in Brown going to the Blue Jays. I hit so I hit an Adley of these on Thursday. Adley speckle. You're just this. You're just the the Adley master apparently. I am. Mm -hmm. Ryan, is that a true? Going to Chris Stone. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, that's for sure a true orange Abram. Well, because there's also the orange wave, and the the true refractors always sell better than the waves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you are correct. It is a true orange out of 25. Number three of 25. I'll look right now. There's not even any sold on eBay. This is insane. That's a big card. Wow. Have like any gold? Have any gold sold? The closest thing is a speckle, sparkle, whatever. Seventy one. That went for five hundred two. So you got to think this is going to do quite a bit more than that. Yeah, I think the speckles comp like somewhere between. Like the purples and the blues, which is too bad. I think they should be higher. Yeah, like an of seventy five went for four nineteen, an of one fifty went for two ninety, and then the five hundred two. Those are the only three. That's a big one. Oh wait, an of fifty. Oh, there's more in here. What is going on? Um, Twins auto. An of fifty had an offer accepted at thirty five hundred. What is that one? Ooh. 
The Matt Cantorino Twins Auto out of 499. Refractor. Twins are going to Kevin McGee. Twins have three autos in this. At least three, I think. Yeah. Three that I've seen. Walner, Quintero, and then... Uh, Cavaco. Cavaco, yep. Tebow. It's so wild that Tim Tebow has a baseball card. What was that? It's so wild that Tebow has a baseball card. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> Blue's, uh, Blue's talking about T-Ball cards. Yeah, yeah. Second Bowman already. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, because his first Bowman was Chrome, right? Yeah, Bowman Chrome. Yeah. Did he sign autos for that or no? I don't think he did. He didn't have any autos in Chrome, did he? No, so apparently he wants too much for autographs. Compared that makes sense, right? Is willing to pay for to put him into a prospect set. It makes sense. He's more famous than most of those most of these guys, you know? Yeah, exactly. But it's like, why would they pay him that much and they can get the hundred other prospects that... Did, uh, for both sides, for sure. Remember, did, did Russell Wilson have an auto? Because he was in... Uh, he was in... Bow, was it Bowman Draft last year? Or one of the Bowman products last year with the Yankees? I doubt he signed. Oh, no way. He did sign. Russell Wilson? 2018 Bowman Chrome Red Refractor. That's nasty. That's wild. Tim Tebow's way better, though. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Russell Wilson might, might win MVP this year. <laughs> I think it's going to be Lamar. Yeah, that's right. It has to be Lamar. You guys just got me upset about my Baker PSA 10s now. <laughs> the Darnold ones were the one that took a real hit this year. Yeah, did you guys go hard on those? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get them out of those floating around. Probably, probably seeing ghosts that night now about those. Yeah. That'll, that's a pretty common phrase. People say that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not seeing dollar signs, that's for sure. Seeing ghosts. Definitely not seeing dollar signs. I'll trade you some Bowman paper. Yeah. Straight up. Give me every single Adley Russell paper you have, and I'll think about giving you one. I can give you a uh, a freshly sh shaven uh, Adley <laughs> Russell base card. Yeah. Event used. <laughs> did you uh, have? You, did you happen to catch our? Uh... It was fun. That was a good video. <laughs> you know, people are always asking us if you guys haven't had a chance to uh to take a look at it i know we've got it on our maiden page we posted in uh in our real breaks marketplace um, it's and on the group as well. yeah it's marked as an announcement on there so go check it out if you're curious as to what we do with the bowman paper that doesn't ship um we got episode one of I, we got we got, we got a bunch of different uses for it. We're always doing stuff with bone paper. You guys don't understand how handy these paper base cards actually are. So it's like duct tape. <laughs> you can never have too much of it. That's for sure. So hop on the page. Episode one is out, featuring the one and only Ryan Holland. And that was that was the launch of our YouTube channel. Yeah. So while you guys are at it, go ahead, uh, um, subscribe, like, comment. Do all that, you know, follow us on YouTube. We're going to start putting out a bunch more content. I know we've been working on that. Um, we've got like 300 of our past breaks up there as a playlist. So, like, if you want to go watch, say, um, 2018 Bowman's Best. The Bowman's Best is coming out in a couple of weeks. If you want to go watch some of 2018's Bowman Best, we got a playlist of like 100 of them. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey. That was purple. My guy Matt in the comments. What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> He's in our Instagram group. Hey, now, oh, what's up, awesome. Matt? Thanks for joining in. And I'll tell you, so you're telling me watching those old breaks while you're going through everything, posting yeah, off to YouTube, crazy. it's crazy seeing like, I mean, how I know the one one guy I'm thinking of, Juan Soto. Like we're pulling mm -hmm. Juan Soto first Bowman cards, mm -hmm. and not even <laughs> reacting much to it because it's like, oh, this is just Juan Soto, but it's not the Juan Soto that we know today. Yeah. The the big one is 
sticking with uh, 18 Bowman's best, we pulled a ton of Yordans. Yeah. At the time, those those were not that big cards because they weren't even like first. You know, obviously Bowman's best isn't first Bowman's or anything. But since he only had the one auto, there we go. That's a good one. Okay. Cameron that's Misner good. blue going to the Marlins. Um, he only had the one Bowman Chrome auto, and those were got just crazy in price. So then everybody was going to the next best available, which was the Bowman's best one. Right. And it's like I sold one of my base autos for like a hundred at the national. But at the time when we were breaking that. It, you know, it wasn't. It wasn't even on the showcase. Marlins going to Sean. Nice hit for Sean. That's a nice one. Um, yeah, Jordan. We so Gary and I went to a bunch of card shows in the Northeast, like before the season last year, um, and we were getting. We bought a couple Jordan autos for pretty cheap. We got a purple, a purple Jordan auto first for like I think it was like forty five bucks. It was like wild. It's a steal. Yeah. Matt, Lou's got the Giants in this break, and uh, he's got a green paper Hunter Bishop. Get dominated. <laughs> there we go. That's cool. Tim Tebow, sky blue. Nice. Hunter Bishop, first moment chrome. Chrome. <laughs> all those chromes. Begging for all those chromes. Send them off to PSA, Lou. So they're going right there. And I'm just gonna pray that he's a real player. <laughs> nice purple Will Wilson. Nice. Let's leave that one. So Lou, I want to ask you about StockX a little bit, and what do you think uh, about their whole, you know, card offshoot that they're doing now? Because I know Gary's been, you know, not necessarily in business with, but just kind of talks, and you guys have a good relationship with those guys. So, so what are your thoughts on StockX taking on baseball cards? I think it's pretty cool. Josh is a super nice guy. Um, him Josh Luber, the owner of StockX, correct? Yes, Josh Luber. Um, he he and Gary did a panel at the National. That's a nice auto. Jamari Baylor, base auto, going to the Phillies. And nice. Jared. Um, yeah, so he and Gary did a panel at the National. They've been friends for a while. Um, and Josh is just really into cards. He's pretty hardcore and StockX obviously you know if you guys are into sneakers or other collectibles they do a lot um they're a pretty big marketplace for that stuff so i think it's exciting to get another avenue for card sales right like for the most part if you're buying and selling cards it's either happening on ebay or like comc i guess um yeah, facebook face yeah facebook and then instagram a little bit as well but i think the more avenues the better right i think it'll just keep things interesting and StockX obviously has a different audience than you would get on an ebay or comc so mm -hmm. exposing it to new people i think is really good yeah without a doubt i know so i tyson and i have been in sneakers and you know buying and flipping them for for years now since we were you know freshmen in high school yeah um and so we got to see the evolution of the sneaker game from you know where everything was all ebay and facebook and then like progressing that and then right when StockX went live and how you know people reacted to that and how it's now just literally such an integral part of you know, the sneaker community and the sneaker culture. Um, yeah. And so I think it's super interesting to see how the card market is going to shift, you know, with StockX's influence in that. Yeah, I think, I personally think it's all, like, there's there's really no downside to StockX being in the mix, you know? I think it'll only bring positives. But yeah, without and transparency is a big thing with pricing. I mean, you can literally see exactly what stuff is selling for. That's a good point too, bringing other people into, mm -hmm. um, you know, cards. Cause, yeah, because I know a bunch of people that are like kind of halfway into shoes. Like, they'll just know about like the Travis Scott one or the Travis Scott four. You know, big stuff like that. It's like the real hype stuff, and they'll know like, oh yeah, I can buy these on StockX or I can you know see what they're selling for on StockX stuff like that. And so I think for them to to be able to get on StockX now and you know see that oh StockX has like baseball cards and you know I'm sure. The, the cool thing with the parallels between sneakers and cards is everyone, most people are sports fans too. So, I mean, if you're buying LeBron sneakers, you're obviously a LeBron fan, NBA fan, and you see LeBron's, you know, 2003 Topps Chrome PSA 10 on there, you're like, well, like his, his rookie card is worth how much? Yeah. By the way, I think that's like the LeBron Topps Chrome PSA 10 is, in my opinion, the most underpriced card in relation to its potential value 
in all like it's the number one 100 price card in my mind that's another that's we got another lou we got another lou investment tip of the break number two i mean if you got like twenty three hundred dollars lying around it's yeah like, exactly <laughs> it's a really <laughs> of, yeah obviously it's like extremely expensive but like in relation right like tell, if, tell me if you guys think i'm wrong i feel I'm like <laughs> i feel like he's such a good player like he's an all-time great like he's at worst a top five player of all time yeah, I'd say at yeah worst. I remember at, top five is is even you know being liberal with it. So you know, yeah, like, <laughs> who you ask, right? Like some people would like put like Wilt up there or something like that. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like the, those cars, those rookie cars just sell for a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You think top? Uh, Lou wants to know what you think on if LeBron top scoring PSA tens or just I mean base are undervalued right now. Oh, I think in, so, in, in relation to what he could be. He's, well, he's been the best player of our generation. So far. For, yeah, how many years so, now? And honestly, like, you know, I think about, like, the Jordan stuff. Like, not very many people were collecting basketball back then. But still, like, in 2003, 2004, like, the market wasn't anywhere near what it is right now. So there just wasn't as many people collecting that stuff back then. Mm -hmm. So, you know, getting stuff that's in good condition from, from that time. Yeah, I think they're just really, it's a really hard path. Because the thing about LeBron is we've seen it now at a couple different stops. He's got so much influence that for the rest of his career, they're going to be putting monster teams around him. It's, like, it's not like he's going to ride out his career on some scrub team. Like They'll, they'll just keep adding people. So, the rare thing. Like, it's going to happen. Yeah. It's only going to add to the legacy, you know? Yeah, it's way too easy to do in basketball. So it's, I, I got to assume he's going to win a couple more more rings. They may win this year. Like, <laughs> Yeah. There's a chance for sure. That's not yeah. a question. Yeah. I just feel bad. I had to, I was forced to hate LeBron for a few years there. The Cavs fan in me just can't, just couldn't control it. What? Then he, came back, he came back and brought us a championship, so... Yeah, like, now you guys are just whatever about it, right? Yeah, basically. I think most people include, like, I remember my grandparents even, just diehard Cleveland everything fans for their entire lives. Like, we're so, like, all my family's households were just in pain and just, you know, heated that whole time. time. But it was, like, all time for <laughs> Exactly. Hey, did, I think you did them a huge favor by leaving. How? They tanked for a couple of years and they got couple number one draft picks and they came back yeah true that's how they got Kayla yeah traded Wiggins we we're supposed to meet Kayla remember that yeah I do remember that <laughs> yeah this is last box last break. box we oh get, man we gotta get someone on the same year now yeah. it we're looking for a redemption here. Give it to me. Here we go. We've got a refractor draft pick progression for the Mets. David Peterson, Carlos Cortez, and Brett Beatty. That's cool one. That's nice. The inserts in this are pretty cool. Yeah, they always do a good job with them. Yeah. A Giants first bowling base card for oh. Lou. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, oh that monster coming up right there. Purple <laughs> Brett Beatty. Purple Beatty out of two fifty going to the Mets. That's Mets great. are owned by Ryan York as well. Oh wow! <laughs> wow. Have, a really? Have a break. Have a break, Ryan. What are those going for? That's a sweet yeah. card. That's a nice one. Purple baby autos right now on eBay. Sean, you got to blame Lou. He's the one that picked the case. Yeah, yeah. It's on me. <laughs> Send those nasty PMs Lou's way. <laughs> <laughs> one for the purple. It's pretty good. Oh, there's not, oh. There's not ink on it. That's it's a Rangers. Could, Rangers. It could be a Josh Young. Josh Young orange would be sweet. Josh Young would be a nasty. Oh, pitcher. Justin Slayton. 
Nice. Still nice to hit an orange. It's number 22 out of 25. Be a huge hit in break battles. <laughs> those, those orange base are huge. Yeah. Those. Rangers going to Ron Jacobs. So, Lou, you have any other wisdom or anything you want to impart on uh, on the viewers here before uh, before you wrap things up with a recap? I guess you gotta if anything, I'm looking there. for you guys to give me some some wisdom because clearly I can't pick a team. In a... <laughs> <laughs> Lou, like I said, don't feel bad because I do the same thing. I put I picked the Rangers in a break a couple of nights ago and chose the wrong case, and the next case had two what jobs. two young autos. <laughs> Honestly, draft is fun just to just to watch the breaks and learn about the players because you know they're all they're all the, their first big cards in the hobby. So just watching and learning and checking out eBay prices and you know keeping an eye on these prospects, especially as the season starts up next year, because a lot of these prospects, all they've done is played rookie ball. Yeah. So or like you know short season and stuff. So watch next year, and just, you know just keep an eye on on who's trending. And, you know, there's a lot of opportunity to, for, you know, for players to move up and down throughout the year for these really young guys. Yeah, like, was a big chase earlier this year. It's, it's interesting because these guys are all still so young and, like, that's, like, the good part about baseball to me. I love baseball because you have these guys. Like, Rutschman's different. He's a little bit older. But you get these guys who are, like, 18, 19 years old and, like, they're playing like low A and you're like checking in on their stats and stuff like that. I yeah. love doing that. Mm -hmm. Going to minor league games is a blast too. Oh, it's so much fun. There used to be a team down here, uh, out here in Jersey, down down South Jersey a little bit, the uh, Somerset Patriots. I think they're I think they're independent league now, but like it used to be so much fun going to those games. Yeah. I know we got uh, I don't know if you heard Lou, but we're gonna have uh, a little sponsored bobblehead action here yeah. later oh, this summer. Yeah. We're doing a bobblehead night. Really? Yeah, at a minor league game. That's awesome. Is it the Timber Rattlers? Yeah, the Timber Rattlers. It's a Trent Grisham bobblehead. And then like two weeks later, he got traded. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it's a, it's in the Timber Rattlers uniform, so that's better than if he was in a Brewers uniform. The minor league game. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's the a Timber great. Rattlers. Tim Rattlers is an unbelievable man. Have you guys pulled any Vaughns out yet or no? Yeah, I pulled uh, a green one on Thursday. Nice. And, uh, yeah, we pulled a couple big ones, but not as many Adleys, at least for me so far, Yeah. as Vaughns. I'll see redemption here. There's, for still, yeah, there's still one auto left. Give me a redemption. I need it. Oh, another D box auto. Oh. Fail, maybe. Uh, another another pitcher. pitcher. Man, this case was just loaded with pitchers. Pitchers so and that's, doubles. That's not what you want to see in this product. So many doubles. Yeah, Bullet, you're, uh, you're a Brewers fan, so you got to be. You're happy about that, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I, I have no clue why the Padres did that trade. Think about, think about the infield that the Padres had that they gave up. D backs going to Chuck Berlin. Because they could have had, they could have had Machado at third, Tatis at short, and Urias at second. <laughs> that is a nasty infield. So, I don't, I, I don't know what they were thinking there. Urias is so young, and he had a bad year. It's like they yeah. traded him like when his value was really low, after being a huge prospect. I think Urias is gonna show out like, with the Brewers. I'm hoping he does yeah. at least. I hit a I hit a top chrome auto out of fifty. Yeah. <laughs> Here he is last yeah. year. So Lou, if you missed it, that was my investment tip of the break. <laughs> <laughs> has hey, has this stuff moved at all since the trade? I haven't even looked. I haven't checked. Well, yeah, the jackpot's up to twelve fifty now. Yeah, no super. No super factor. We've been pulling a bunch of plates. I think we've had like four or five plates already. Yeah, I know the other night you pulled like I pulled two, two out of five cases on Thursday. And Ryan Ryan pulled another one last night. 
Tom's pulled a couple. Yeah. Oh, the Pats lost today? That's great. <laughs> well, so Lou, no, uh, no Hunter Bishop Otto here. You got the green paper out of 99. Okay. And included in that, you've got a solid shot at a Joe Adele, Gary B. Direct 360 Otto. I want it. I want How crazy that. would it be if Lou hit that? That would be funny. <laughs> Are you guys going to wear it right now or later? So no. we'll have to run through and uh, tally up the hits for everyone. Cool. So we'll run that probably. I don't know. We might be able to squeeze it in later tonight because Amos going to do some sorting here. And, uh, yeah, we might be able to sneak that in tonight. But we'll do a quick recap here. Cool. All right, here's all of our higher numbered parallels that we got. So some sky blues, some blues, some purples, a couple speckles in there. So much color in this product. Yeah, that's the nice thing. And here's some of our bigger names. Bryson Stott, sky blue. Will Wilson, purple. CJ Abrams, purple paper. Blue, Corbin Carroll. Purple paper, Brett Beatty. And the Walner, just because we like Walner. Uh, sparkle. And Cavaco, sky blue paper. Not a single giant to be seen. <laughs> All right, lower numbered stuff. Slayton, orange out of 25 for the Rangers. Schultz, green out of 99, Phillies. Uh, Dazen Brown out of 99, going to the Blue Jays. Braden Shoemake out of 99, eBay 101, going to the Braves. Isaiah Gilliam out of 25 for the Yankees. Dalton Varsho Gold out of 50, D backs. And Drew Waters out of 50, going to the Braves. Well, Lou, if it makes you feel better, you didn't. Uh, you, your second team was the Tigers in this, so if you, if you pulled the Tigers out, right, you wouldn't have had too much right. either. Yeah. <laughs> Just ice cold, guys. Ice cold. <laughs> We're going to bring in a different guest next time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, base autos. Uh, Henry D-backs, Jameson D-backs, Garcia, Rangers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a stack for pitchers and hitters so we can see. Uh, Jamari Baylor, Phillies. Davidson, A's. Bush, Dodgers. Wenzel, Rangers. Walston, D-backs. Nelson D backs, and we got the whole D backs pitching staff in there. <laughs> the D backs pitching staff of 2026. Yeah, yeah seriously. <laughs> All right, Will Wilson, Angels. TJ Sikama, Yankees. All right, here's our case hit, class of 2019. Ryan Jensen out of 250 for the Cubs. Kendall Williams, Gold Wave out of 50, Blue Jays. Cameron Misner. Blue out of 150 for the Marlins. That's a big card. Matt Cantorino, Refractor Auto out of 499 Twins. Uh, Dazen Brown, Blue Jays Auto, uh, Sparkle out of 71. Logan Davidson, Refractor Auto out of 499 A's. Uh, Blue Wave, Michael Bush out of 150 for the Dodgers. TJ Sikama, Refractor Auto out of 499 Yankees. And Kendall Williams, Refractor Auto for the Blue Jays. So. I think, yeah, so far, pitchers. Pitchers got more. We got a couple to go, though. All right, moving on to, this, moving on to the stands. Hunter Bishop, green paper out of 99 for the Giants. Atta boy, Lou. Oh, man, Lou. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of Christmas colors. It is the season. Yeah, that yeah, that little, little red with the Bowman logo. Nice. Throw that in a one-touch. <laughs> Some wrapping paper. Unbelievable. <laughs> we doubled up on Shea Langlier's. Get a green out of 99 and a blue out of 150. Both trues. No waves on there. Those are going to the Braves and Matt Wood. Congrats, Matt. The real winner of the evening. Yeah, that was a big one. Brett Beatty, purple refractor out of 250 for the Mets and Ryan York. And Ryan also hit the money mitt hit of the break. How sweet are, how sweet are these mitts? There's, those are Rick's custom mini mitt, money mitt. They're made out of old baseball gloves. That's awesome. So sick. Uh, we actually, at the National, for all of our breaks at the National, we gave one of these away as skunk protection for each each individual one. So, did a really good job. My man Jimmy Simpson, Money Mitts. But our Money Mitt hit of the break tonight. CJ Abrams, Orange Refractor Auto, number three of 25. Going break. to the Padres and Ryan York. 
So congrats to Ryan on having the two biggest cards of the break. Yeah, Ryan, let's Son confirm you're not going to be uh, involved in skunk protection at all. Uh, yeah, yeah. So here's our stacks. Pretty even. It looks like just by a hair, the the hitters did edge out, edge out the pitchers. But when the when the checklist is 75% hitters, that is not the distribution that you want to see. But we did have a couple monsters in there. All right, let me stash these away quick. All right, so just one more time real quick. This beautiful Joe Adele from the Gary V Direct 360 set, uh, which initially released at the National, but then the, the Premium Edition came out. It was actually yeah, it was, the, yeah, it was the last day of the yep. National. They released it online. But, yeah, we did a 50K, or 50 box break of those, and this was one of the hits from that. So this is going to be going to Skunk Protection to uh, one of the participants in tonight's break. Might go to Lou. We'll find out uh, later on tonight when we run that random. But thank you once again to Lou. You got any last words? You want to you want to plug your Instagram or uh, any anything you guys are working on? Yeah, I mean you can follow me on Instagram at Louis Chenu. Uh Actually, at Lou on Instagram, I changed it. But thank you guys for having me. I had so much fun. Um, it was super great to meet you guys. You know, last summer. Um, I hope I see you guys again this summer. Um, and thank you again for having me. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us again. We'll have to get you on again sometime and uh, you know, it, maybe we'll, get, we'll get Tyler to we'll get Tyler to come on and do some soccer or something. <laughs> sure. That'd be awesome. For sure. Awesome. Thanks again, Lou, for coming on. Everyone, thanks for joining. That was a pretty good case, regardless. Yeah, it was all right. I mean, that orange Abrams. That makes the case. An absolute monster. That makes the case. So that was a lot of fun. We'll be back in just a couple minutes with another case of uh, Boma Draft. And uh, come hang out with us there. And then we got some prism going on after that. And uh, I'm gonna throw up a poll for that for that uh, last that fifth break of the night. And uh, we'll see what we'll see what we run. But thank you everyone. See you in a little bit. Thank you again, Lou. Later, guys.